rest of the world. The COVID-19 impact is more on the labor-intensive sector when people get together and easily get infected by the virus. So such as the food supply chain, food processing, retailing, wholesaling that part, uh, instead of on the agricultural production on the rural side. So in many cities in China, just like in uh, the United States here, that's occasionally you see that uh, grocery stores have empty shelves, uh, but soon it will be restocked. So by now, uh, it's less of a program that people got to watch very carefully when people gather together, work together, and uh, the virus may come back. It's interesting uh, when you look at farming in general, uh, you're really at the mercy of, of several forces, several factors. Lots of farmers in your part of the country there, Indiana, Minneapolis, some of the Midwest, uh, they have to deal with bad weather, poor harvest. Uh, the Trump trade war, of course, impacted them as well. What are some of the forces facing farmers in China? Uh, so, so far uh, this year, the weather has been good as we just watch those programs. So the yield is fine. And by the market, there is always uncertainty. Overall, China is a net importing country. So um, their domestic demand is, remains high for the grains. Uh, but for other products, because China does export some of the minor crops, and uh, those likely to be high valued, and not only crops, like livestock and horticulture products. So those are more vulnerable to the international risks. So this COVID-19, as well as other issues like uh, uh, trade uh, policies between countries or logistic issues, um, income issues, economic issues, the purchasing power from other parts of the world. So these may impose some market uncertainty to uh, Chinese farmers as well. So right now I'm thinking wheat, corn, corn rice, those large field grain production are okay. However, uh, high valued exporting oriented like agricultural products, uh, horticulture and high valued uh, um, uh, horticulture products may be a challenge. We heard in that report uh, one of the gentlemen saying that, uh, you know, what you're seeing is drought and flood resistant uh, crops there. What is China or Chinese uh, farmers doing differently than, than others around the world in terms of how they're approaching, uh, you know, their harvests? Uh, for um, drought is um, a major common risk. In, um, any, in a lot of parts of the world. The good part is the major uh, grain production area in China, the north, northern China plains, and a lot of them are irrigated, so that makes them a more uh, resistant resilience to the drought. But, but the flood um, risk is there, so every year you see some flood problems in here and there. The good part is China is a large country, so geographically it's diversified, so that uh, Natural disaster may occur in one area, but overall, at the country level, uh, usually it's averaged out. Holly, uh, one final question before we let you go. Uh, broadly speaking, what's going to be the overall impact of the virus on agriculture and the global food supply, do you think? Uh, I think the impact is uh, not huge on the total quantity wise because the production anywhere in the world uh, remains uh, pre pretty much the same. So really it's the supply chain. So as uh, f food from farm to table, there are a lot of links in between. Any of the link broke, that will affect uh, consumer side. So the, the COVID-19's uh, biggest impact would be along the supply chains. So we got to watch for those.